Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh and in this video, we'll continue our discussion from previous video on exponential weighted mean, standard deviation and variance. In previous video, we talked about the intuition behind how uh, the calculations work. In this video, we are going to do actual coding and implement that to calculate the mean standard deviation and variance using exponential weights. So let's get into Jupyter Notebook and start coding. Here I've already imported three libraries, NumPy, Pandas, and matplotlib.pyplot. And for data, there's just this small data frame, uh, which has a column data with five values. And to begin the coding, let's first initialize the variables. So initialize, and we are going to initialize span. So n is equal to three. So this is the span we are going to use. And then for alpha, we'll just use the variable a. And alpha would be 2.0 divided by one plus n, which is one plus span. And this is our alpha. We can also go ahead and print this so that when we look at the output, we would be able to see what actually we are trying to calculate there. So let's put an N and then we'll print alpha as well. So alpha and we'll print the A. So once we have that, next, let's look at uh, how we can use uh, EVM to calculate. So as a next step, we'll go ahead and use dot EWM uh, to calculate mean, variance, and standard deviation. And the formula for that is, uh, I'll store these in variables called mean underscore pandas variance underscore pandas and standard deviation underscore pandas so here this would be df dot ewm and then span would be n that we are using dot mean and i'm going to go ahead and copy this and paste it three times and just change these here so this is for variance and then this for standard deviation and I'm going to change this to var change this to std so this will give us the quantities that are directly calculated using the function that pandas provided provides which is dot ewm moving on what we are going to do next is get manually calculate the same values that uh, the function calculated for us and this is just to gain an insight into what's actually happening in the background so to do that we are going to now uh, start uh, working on a for loop so before we do that we will go ahead and initialize some variables so this is uh, let's start with mean so mean so this is calculated mean that we are going to use and then we have uh, calculated variance and calculated standard deviation so th these three are the lists that we have initialized now what we'll do is uh, do the calculation of the uh, exponentially weighted uh, items for i in range and here we are going to uh, the range we are going to use is with the with respect to the length of the data frame so length df dot data and the first item is we are going to get the window and this will store it in a variable z so np dot array df dot data dot dialog 
and this would go from 0 until i plus 1 dot to list okay so we have that done next we'll go ahead and also print this so when we look at the output we would be able to see uh, what is happening in each of the iterations that we are running so next one let's look at get weights and for weights uh, we'll we need to exponentiate the one minus alpha so for that we need the length of z and we'll use n for that so weight w is equal to one minus alpha, alpha uh, raised to power here we'll use the np dot a range and n minus one goes from minus one minus one so this will this will work in a reverse order and uh, so that it matches so that one is the weight of one is given to the most recent value and the exponentiated values then go on towards the older values so why don't we go ahead and print this as well so print and print n and then also go ahead and print w which is the weight calculated in that iteration after that uh, we'll calculate the exponential weighted average so calculate exponential weighted average or weighted mean and for this um, okay so here we have e i'm just going to store it in a variable ewma and np dot sum so the formula is the same that we had in the slides in the previous video so first we get the sum of the weights uh, multiplied to the values and then divide that by the sum of the weights which is w and we'll go ahead and print this again ewma and ewma okay next we'll calculate the exponential uh, we'll go ahead and calculate the bias first because we need that for the variance and again for bias the formula as we saw in the previous video is bias is equal to first we need to get the difference so np dot sum w uh, and then we take a square of that and so this is one value and then we subtract it from np np dot sum and this would be sum of the squared weights itself and then we are going to put a bracket around it i'm going to copy this bit because that's going to be in the numerator as well so that's the final formula we have for bias so why don't we go ahead and print the bias as well bias and that's how that will be finally we come to the variance calculate exponential weighted variance ewm var is equal to now the formula for this is uh, first we need to multiply bias and then here uh, what we have is we first take the difference so z minus ewma and then take a square of that once we have that then we are going to divide this value by np dot sum of weights and then here we are going to multiply by w so w into z minus m a and then we don't need this bracket right here you can put one right here w into z minus e w m a and this is the square of that divided by the square uh, divided by the sum of weights and after that we need to put this all in one bracket and get the sum of that entire thing 
so this is going to be our uh, exponential weighted variance so print e w m var e w m var and finally we have standard deviation so calculate exponential weighted standard deviation and to calculate the standard deviation it it is square root of variance so let's do that so e w m s t d is equal to n p dot s q r t e e w m var and we'll go ahead and print this as well e w m s t d e w m m s t d okay so now up we have calculated we have written the code for calculating all the values finally what i'm going to do is just add a line here or maybe just dotted line end of loop this just tells us when we see the printouts we'll uh, this will kind of the separator uh, between the iterations and last thing we need to do before uh, finishing the loop is append all of these values to that list we initialized earlier so mean calc is mean calc dot append e w m a and then var calc dot append e w m var and then std calc dot append this would be std var uh, sorry e w m std yes e w m std and lastly once we have all this we are going to then add all of these in the data frame so we'll create new columns mean underscore pandas so this is the directly calculated value from the uh, e w m function from pandas and then this is the manually calculated mean calc is equal to mean calc and then df similarly we have uh, var underscore pandas which is directly calculated var underscore pandas and then df uh, var calc that's the one that we calculated manually so var calc and lastly we have standard deviation which was directly calculated from pandas which is std underscore pandas and then we have df uh, which is uh, std calc which is what we calculated from the variance so square root of variance and that's std calc and finally now we can write the print print the df before we do that, uh, let's go back and check if everything is okay. Uh, so starting with here, we have initialized them. Then we have the Z. For weights, we calculate N and then calculate the weights, we print them. So this should be W. And then we calculate EWMA, which is sum of WZ divided by sum of W. And then we have a bias into sum of w into z minus wma square divided by sum okay so this looks good we can go ahead and run this and here we can see now let's look at the output first so this is the output uh, we can see that the values calculated by pandas directly and the values that we calculated manually are the same for mean again for variance we have 50 50 so they are same for variance and they are same for standard deviation as well so that's awesome we now have i'm going to change the battery okay so we can go back up and look at what the calculations were so here 
uh, we can see the first one was NaN. The next one we got the weights as one and 0.5. So the value 20 got weight of one. And as the window progressed, you can see that the value for 20 then changed to 2.5. Then it changed to 0.25. And finally, it went down as far as 0.125. Similarly, for the 10, the initial value was 0.5, but then by the end of the loop, it went to 0 0.0625. So that particular value was not discarded. It was still there, but just the weight given to that value uh, kept on going uh, down, uh, but it was still included in the final calculations. I hope in this uh, section and past videos you learn how to calculate exponential weighted mean, average, uh, that is average, standard deviation, variance, and also got an intuition as to what happens in the background and uh, how the exponential weighted means kind of change the weights on the new values as compared to the older values. If you have any comments or questions please post them in the uh, section below i hope to see you all in the next video please like share and subscribe thank you